Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us have a quick comparison of the nervous system and the endocrine system. So let us look at some examples where you can uh, actually feel the role of the nervous system and some other scenario where you can feel the role of the endocrine system. Let us suppose that you are standing somewhere at peace and suddenly somebody throws a ball at you. What do you do? The, that, that ball might hurt you, right? So what do you do? You immediately try to catch the ball so that you are saved. So now you were standing at rest, you were not doing anything, but suddenly you had to make so many movements, moving your hands, your legs and everything, jumping off and then catching the ball. So the kind of response which you gave was fast or instant. However, this kind of uh, in this kind of stimulus is quite short-lived. So like once you catch the ball and then you are done, that's all. Then your response will get over and the entire event will get over. So in this case, what can we see? We see that it is instant response, of course. It is instant response or fast response, whatever you say. But at the same time, it is short-lived. It doesn't last for long. It lasts only for those few seconds or few minutes as long as the ball is thrown and the ball is caught by the other persons. That's all. So here you can see the role of the nervous system because when you suddenly have to move your hands or legs or anything, whenever you have to do something suddenly, you need an instant response. It is your nervous system that comes into picture. So the nervous system does everything inside your body. So this is something like if you want to convey some message to your friend. Now there are many ways of doing that. Maybe you can write a letter and then send it to his postal address which will take 2-3 days to reach him. Uh, there is another way that uh, you call him on his landline number where maybe uh, his father or mother or somebody else will pick the call and then you just inform them that okay this is the message and please convey it to him. There is another way that you directly call him and talk to him. So if you see the transmission is fastest if you call him on his mobile number because you are able to convey the information quickly, right? Okay, so this is the scenario for nervous system. Now let us look at where does this endocrine system come into picture. Let us consider our growth. So how do we grow? So see, just a tiny baby grows into a big adult. So this happens due to changes in each and every cell of the body. But these changes are gradual, but they are not short-lived. They are long-lived because the changes keep on happening. Like while catching the ball, it was just a matter of a few seconds that you did something. After that, again, you were back to normal. But here in this case, when your cells grow, they do not grow for, say, two hours, three hours and then stop. They grow for a longer period of time. So in this case, we say that response is slow, obviously, because if, for example, a baby is born today. So tomorrow you cannot, uh, you don't expect the baby to grow tall and start walking and start running nothing like that happens it takes time so it is a very gradual process where the response is very slow but the but it is a long-lived event so the changes keep on taking place so here the response is slow so it is slow response but it is long-lived so this identifies or this characterizes the endocrine system so here what happens each and every cell inside the body each and every cell undergoes some or the other changes so the growth takes place in each and every cell of the body and it keeps on taking place for quite some time right so from here you can see that now okay now let me take that example of communicating something to your friend now let us suppose that when you wanted to inform him something, for example, uh, you wanted to tell him that, okay, I'll not be able to meet you today evening. In that case, maybe you can just call him and tell him that, okay, see, today I'm busy and I'll not be able to meet you. So that means you are able to transmit your, or you can communicate faster. You can communicate in one go, which is short-lived, fast response. Now, let us suppose if you want to, you have, if you have written something, if you have written a story and you want your friend to read that story. So in that case, that is also a possible option that you can still call him on his mobile number and directly narrate the entire story to him, right? But now if you start narrating him the entire story over phone, 
it is something which is a story which will take a longer time so your friend might not be interested to read to, to listen the entire story from you over the phone so in that case maybe what you can do is you can just send the story which you have written to your friend so that he can read it taking his own sweet time so that is how it happens in case of endocrine system there are certain information which needs to reach each and every cell of the body that awaits time to grow. So all of you start growing. So this information needs to reach each and every cell of the body. And that work is done by the chemicals, that is the hormones. Now once that information has reached each and every cell, then all the cells will start growing and this process of growing will continue for quite some time, for a longer time. And then you can gradually see the response. The response is slow, but it is a long-lived event. So here comes the endocrine system. So the cellular processes need to be regulated continuously, as I said. So whenever you want to control something at the cellular level, because anyways, nervous system is not going to help you. Because nervous system is all about the nerve cells. And the nerve cells cannot reach all the cells of the body. Right? So nervous system will not help you in doing anything that has to convey some information to each and every cell of the body. But any process which is taking place in each and every cell of the body, whether you talk about cellular respiration, that means the process of respiration happening in each and every cell of the body. So these kind of cellular processes need to be regulated, need to be monitored and controlled continuously. It is not that you just, okay, informed all the cells somehow that, okay, you have to grow and then you forgot about it. And maybe some cells are growing and some are not. So that is not the way. So if it is happening at a cellular level where all the cells are involved, then all of them need to be regulated continuously. And that is why endocrine system plays a role there. It is because it is a long-lived event. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.